Phileas Fogg, you want to marry me niece Belinda? Yes, Lord Mayor. Then prove yourself worthy. Travel around the world in 80 days. Impossible! We shall do it. And bet your 20,000 pounds you can't hit the vent. Around the world in 80 days. Passepartout. So far, me marry Belinda Mays. Passepartout. It's come down. Yes, Lord Mayor. At your service. Stop Fogg from travelling around the world in 80 days. I must win that bet. Fogg may fail because of fix. And then Fogg mixes, his tricks, his tricks. Around the world with Pasta Two. Oh, Phileas, do be careful. My uncle is sending this man named Fix to stop you. Don't you worry, mademoiselle. Ah, as his companion shall watch out for Monsieur Fix. Around the world in 80 days, so Fogg may marry Blinda Maze. Around the world with Pasta Two. By Joe, past part two, we were fortunate to be able to buy this stamp pan. Otherwise, we'd have been stuck in Shanghai for another ten days. It was all Fix's thievery which caused us to miss the steamboat. Yes, but in the end, the thievery didn't pay him. Believe me, my boy, honesty is the best policy. I hope so, monsieur. He's not the only one who can get a sampan, eh, Mr. Fix? No, but there are easier ways to travel, Mr. Fix. Never mind complaining, Mr. Fix. Just keep Fog in sight. And keep this boat right behind him. I'll fix that fog. Look there, Monsieur Fog. A very black cloud. I hope we are not in for a storm. I hope so, too. Storms in the China Sea are apt to be very severe. They're called typhoons. And the wind sometimes gets as high as 200 miles an hour. <gasps> Parlez-vous! I hope this is not one. Such winds could blow us right out of the water. I'm afraid we're in for it, my boy. We'll lower the sail, then just hang on and hope. <laughs> Looks like the end of the world, and me right in the middle of it. Help! Steady, my boy. Don't lose your courage. But we shall be washed away, monsieur. <laughs> Roman Ocean is coming at me. It's all over, Mr. Fix. This is goodbye. Happening, monsieur. We are starting to go around in circles. The typhoon. We're being caught up in the heart of the typhoon. <laughs> it's silly as fog. Blimey, he's flying through the air. He's. Wait, what's happening? I'm starting to spin. I'm being caught in the typhoon. Help! I cannot believe it, monsieur. We are flying. Into China, my boy! Hang on! This looks like quite a show! Oh no, Mr. Fix, don't look! Don't look, I tell you! Oh no, you look! We're flying through the air, Mr. Fix! We're flying into China! Oh, why didn't I listen to me, mother? Here we are, 
And over there, I can see the Great Wall of China. And down below, down below, I think we have company, Monsieur Fogg. Welcome to our humble land, sir. I am Ling Ling. You are obedient servant. And this is my family, all 300 of them. We are honored that the typhoon has seen fit to have you drop in on us. I am Phileas Fogg, and this is my companion, Passepartout. <laughs> I say, what's the matter? Why are the ladies crying? I fear they have discovered that your sandpan has broken our car. Oh, of course. Uh, but tell them they can stop crying. We will pay for a new cart. As soon as we get free from up here. So, but I fear there is no time to get a new cart. I'm afraid I don't understand. It is a long story, sir. Perhaps we should wait until we are face to face. Good. I fear. Now, what were you saying? We are potters, honored sirs. We make fine china. Plates, cups, saucers, teapots. And we were leaving today to take a cartload of our china to meet a large clipper ship at our nearest seaport. But now, no cart. <laughs> and it's all our fault, dash it. All because our sampan broke your cart. <laughs> we'll have to do something about it. But we have no time, monsieur. We're all in one piece, Mr. Fix. Well, well, that's the great wall of China I see in the distance. And that means we've been blown miles and miles off course. <laughs> Let's see Phileas Fogg try to find a shortcut to get back on schedule from here. He hasn't got... Blimey, why are all those people around, Fogg? Better have a listen, Mr. Fix. <laughs> But can't you just wait and sell your china to the next boat? Perhaps this person coming will answer your question. <coughs> he is Mr. Senching, the most powerful man in this province and one of the meanest. Mr. Ling, do you have the money which you owe for taxes? I have come to collect. If you do not give me the money soon, you must give me your land. I have told you, Mr. Sen, I will get your money when I sell my china at the seaport. Ah, uh, yes, but you must get your goods there in time for the clipper ship. And I see you no longer have a cart. I will find a way. You had better. I will be back very soon for your money. Or your land. <laughs> oh, so, I fear all is lost. No, we will find a way to help you. But we have already been blown far off our course, monsieur. We have no time to concern ourselves with these people. We broke their cart passport, too, so we owe them our help. And we must always pay our debts. Remember what I told you. Honesty is the best policy. Sound wisdom, sir. But I fear we are beyond help. There is no way we can... Get our China to the seaport on time. There is. If we take a shortcut. A shortcut? A shortcut? Yes. The road atop the Great Wall of China. But the wall is like a giant roller coaster, monsieur. 
sort of vehicle would you use on such a road? A very special vehicle. One we shall make from this wreckage. Part cart, part boat. Come and help. I'll show you what I have in mind. What is it you want, Englishman? I have no time to waste on fools or dogs. Oh, would you call it wasting time if I could keep Ling from getting his China to the seaport on time? Ha! That has already been seen to. He has no cut. He will soon have a new vehicle, but I can stop him. By using the same kind of transportation, part cart, part boat, if you'll help me. Otherwise, you won't get Ling's land. Hmm. You interest me, Englishman. I thought so. Now, first, someone must sneak up and steal Fogg's secret plans for that new vehicle. So you see, Mr. Lee, these wheels and steering should do fine. And by lowering the mast and putting away the sail, we will make our vehicle go faster. And also fit through the tunnels. Oh, yes. This humble servant is impressed. Are we ready, then? If your honorable family could give us a little push, Mr. Ling, I think it would be of great help. Oh, so. Fog has head start, Mr. Sen. But since we stole his secrets about rigging up this vehicle and getting rid of the mast and sail, I should have no trouble moving out ahead of him. Especially not with these rockets you gave me. You are to get ahead of them. Uh, so that you can stop their vehicle and keep them from getting to the port on time. Is that not correct? Correct. And you cannot do this if your vehicle goes out of control or explodes. Is that not correct? Correct. And then see that you use these rockets carefully. Only one at a time. They are very dangerous. Only one at a time. Understand? Of course, Mr. Sen. You can trust our fix. I'll give you my word I'll use only one rocket at a time. Very well. You know, Plus Bantu, the Great Wall of China is the largest structure ever built by man. You can see how wide it is, about 20 feet. And it's almost 30 feet high. And it is almost 1,900 miles long. Probably food. It must have taken a long time to build. It certainly did. And hundreds of thousands of men lost their lives building it. It goes over mountains and through valleys. There are more than 25,000 of these watchtowers along the way. But what is it for, this wall? Nothing, no. But 2,000 years ago, the Emperor had it built to keep out his enemies. <laughs> I hope that it will keep out with your feet. He has stolen your secrets. His car is just like this one, and he has no mast or sail. Yes, my boy. But I dare say he's thrown his mast and sail away, rather than keep them aboard as we have. I think he'll regret that. Do you see their blooming faces, Mr. Fix? <laughs> and the fun is only beginning. I fear there is trouble not too far ahead, Mr. Fogg. What kind of trouble, Mr. Ling? I see it, monsieur. It is a river. And there is no bridge. Look at Fix. He's going off into space. Get up. Get that nose up. Get me up. Now you'll see how Fix 
Dixie's thievery only brought him trouble. Spread out our sail. You mean raise the sail? No, spread it out. Like a wing. We shall try to glide across the river like a bird. of you again, Mr. Fix. Look out there, Mr. Fix. You're taking two rockets instead of one. Remember what Mr. Sen said? One rocket at a time. That was before I fell in the river. I've got to make up for lost time. But you gave your word, Mr. Fix. I'm sure Mr. Fix is going to do something soon. He will not fool me, monsieur. Aha! I see it. Fix tricks, fix tricks. What is it, my boy? Fix has blocked the passage through the next tower with a huge piece of stone. Parlez-vous! What shall we do? We cannot go through and we cannot go around. Then we shall just have to go over. This is possible. How can we do that? Just the way a pole vaulter would do. We will use the mast and the steering oar for poles. Now the whole thing depends on timing. You must both drop the poles when I give the signal. Good work, Mr. Fix. It'll take a week to move that rock. They're stopped for sure. They can't go around, they can't go through, and... <laughs> They can't possibly go over. <laughs> Relax, Mr. Fix. No! Blimey, it's them! Run! Oh, that's got to get out, Mr. Fix. Another river, I fear. And a much wider one than the last. Oh, no! We cannot possibly glide across this one, Monsieur Fogg. No need to, my boy. We are near enough that we can sail into port. Hang on tight now. All right, men. Up with the sail. I'll wager we'll be into that seaport and on board the clipper ship before Mr. Fix even knows what is happening. Easy does it, Mr. Fix. Mr. Sen said only one rocket at a time. That was all very well for him to say, but he doesn't have to catch fog. I do. But it might be too many rockets, Mr. Fix. And you gave him your word of honor. Well, he can give it back next time we see him, Mr. Fix. Right now, we have to take emergency measures. I'll fix that fog. <laughs> Here, Mr. Ling, is the money for your china. I'm glad you were able to get here on time. And Mr. Fogg, if you will sail with us to Yokohama, we can immediately put you aboard a ship bound for San Francisco. Parlez-vous! Did you hear that, Monsieur Fogg? 
We shall be back on schedule to go around the world in 80 days. You were right again. Honesty is the best policy. Captain, Captain, there's a very strange craft in the harbor. I've never seen anything like it. Look, sir. Never should have done it, Mr. Fix. Never should have broken your word of honor and used more than one rocket at a time. Yeah! It's true. Honesty is the best policy. Around the world in 80 days, so Pop may marry Blinda Mays. Around the world with 